So today we're introducing guardrails, and the whole idea with guardrails is that they can catch problematic inputs before they're a problem. So here you can see that guardrails can be applied to either user input messages, such as a user trying to access the system prompt, or LLM output messages, such as an LLM providing sensitive information to the user. So we have this whole library of detections. There's PII detection, jailbreak attempts, brand risks, hallucinations, and more. And then if something's detected, then there's a library of corrective actions that the LLM can take. So this includes hard coding a default response or reprompting the LLM to provide a new response. So here's an example of a hard coded response where the LLM simply responds with, I'm sorry, I can't answer that. Please let me know if I can help with anything else. Now I'll be walking you through our MVP guard, which is the Arise dataset embedding guard. And basically given any dataset of bad examples, this guard will protect against similar messages in the LLM chat. So this is how it works. First, it computes embeddings for the chunks associated with a set of few shot examples of the bad user prompts that you want to avoid or LLM messages. And when the guard is then applied to a new user message or LLM message, then it will compute the embeddings for that input message and check if any of the few shot chunks in the data set are close to the message in this embedded space. So if the cosine distance between the input message and any of those chunks is within a user specified threshold, uh, by default we're using a threshold of 0.2, then the guard will intercept the LLM call. And we have a collab notebook that shows exactly how this works. First, we'll need to install various dependencies. So that includes OpenTelemetry, Llama Index, OpenAI. Uh, and we'll also need to pass in an OpenAI API key in order to compute the embeddings. After that, we initialize the Llama Index instrumenter. This is where we'll need the space key and API key from Arise. So you can find that over here in your space settings. You can see both the space key and API key and simply copy them into your keyboard. Next, we instrument Guardrails AI and import our guard, the Arise dataset embeddings guard. And that's defined in a public repository over here if you want to check out the code. And then from there, we instantiate the Arise dataset embeddings guard. So we tell the guard how we want it to be used. Here we specify that we want it to be used on the user input messages, the prompts, rather than the LM output messages. And we also say the action that we want the guard to take if it fails. So in this case, if the guard detects a problem, it's going to throw an exception. So the guard can be customized with any data set. You just use the sources parameter to specify source data set. We recommend just using 10 few shot examples. And then the guard will compute the cosine embeddings for those examples and try to avoid uh, similar input messages. So here we also provide a default. So in the class, if a sources are not provided, by default, we'll use the prompts over here. And these come from this data set, the do anything now data set. It's just the first 10 prompts from their data. Now we can set up a RAG application using our guard. So here we're just going to use the Polygram essays, and we're going to pass them into a vector store index from Llama index. And then we can set up the query engine with our guarded LLM and pass in one of the jailbreak prompts from the data set. So here we run the query engine with this prompt, and we can see that it, it does throw a validation error, as we would expect. So it says that the following message triggered the Rise dataset embeddings guard. And then it also says that it's similar to a text chunk in our few shot data set of jailbreak prompts and specifies uh, which chunk it was similar to. Now, if we go back to the Rise UI, we can see the LLM tracing with a guard. So here I'm going to click on the root span, and I can see the event where the guard was triggered with this exception. And what's really cool is we can see all the attributes in the post validation from the guard. Uh, so here you can see the input message that triggered the guard, the lowest cosine distance between that input message and all the embedded data set, which chunk was the most similar to the input message. And then you can also see the validator output that it failed, as well as the name of the validator and what it's supposed to do when it fails, in this case, throw an exception. We also did some benchmarking for the jailbreak data set embeddings validator. And here we show that there's a true positive rate of 86% on that do anything now data set of 656 jailbreak prompts. And it's also pretty fast. The median latency is 1.41 seconds for the end to end guarded LLM call using GPT 3.5. And you can see additional details, the actual code where we benchmarked it in this script, benchmark guard on dataset.py inside the dataset embeddings guard rails repo. So that's it for the dataset embeddings guard our MVP guard, but please stay tuned because there's going to be new features coming out soon. Uh, there's a few shot LLM guard that will take that same training data set and use it as few shot examples for an LLM prompt. And then there's also just the general LLM guard, which is very similar to our LLM evaluators, where it can use uh, any string prompt uh, for the LLM to evaluate the input as pass or fail. So please stay tuned. All this will be released pretty soon.